Welcome back everybody. Now the three of us have just wrapped up over six weeks of testing out five top pillows and today we're prepared to give you our final conclusions. That's today's video. All right, so before we even get started, a couple of preliminaries. First up, let me introduce my assistants here. Now, most of you probably know Brandon. He's been helping me out for quite a few years. This is my son. Hi, hey, everybody. Welcome back. And uh, last year, Noah helped us out with a pillow comparison. Noah could not make it this year. So Miss JC Klein has graciously offered to help us out with the pillow. She's been testing them out as well. JC, thank you and Hi, welcome everyone. to the show. <laughs> thank you for having me. Pleasure to make your acquaintance. All right, so if you saw my pillow comparison last year, it was, that was a comparison of five most requested pillows. This one's a little bit different. I picked five of the most popular pillow brands out there. So it's, gonna, it's a little bit different. So it's going to be kind of an interesting mix of pillows this time around. We might as well just get right to the pillows and show which ones we're reviewing. So Bran, toss one of these over here in no particular order. This is the Snuggle Pedic Shredded Memory Foam Pillow. This is the only king size in the bunch. I could, all the standards were sold out, but I paid $44.99 for this one. This is the Casper. This was normally $65. I got it for $55. This is the only down alternative of the bunch. Over here is the Sleep Number. This is the most expensive of the bunch at about 90 bucks. This is a hybrid uh, shredded memory foam and down alternative. <laughs> 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 this is the Sealy. Uh, this is the only memory foam, solid memory foam pillow of the bunch. I got this one in a store. I got it at Big Lots for 35 bucks. The last time I checked, it's 40 now. So it's already gone up in price. Ooh. Good thing I got it when I did. <laughs> <laughs> that was a my good bad. one. <laughs> my bad, my bad. A little aggressive over there now. <laughs> I got fun. <laughs> this is the Tempur Pedic. I got two of them for $59 for a buy one and get one free. Normally, I think it's $59 each, although they seem to always be on sale. This is also a shredded memory foam pillow. All right, so we all took notes during our, our time with these pillows. We're all, at the end, we're all gonna give our final ranking and then come up with a consensus ranking at the very end. Yeah, well, also, I should also point out that I, I cataloged my reactions, so what we're gonna do is for every pillow, I'm gonna go back to when I first tried it out, my first night reaction, and then we're all gonna talk about it. So let's start off with the Casper, go in alphabetical order. The Casper is the only down alternative of the group. They say it's a pillow in pillow design, although I'm not sure I really felt another pillow in there. But let's first take a look back at my first test and then we'll talk about it. Night number one, pillow number one. This is the Casper. Here we go. Now it came with kind of minimal instructions here. On this side of the instructions, it says to basically grab the, the corners diagonally and push in and out. All the picture doesn't really match that. It shows someone hugging it. Just like their part about washing it has a snorkel and a mask. So the, the graphics don't really match what they're saying here. But what they're saying to do is basically grab the corners and just fluff it like that. So we should be well fluffed. Ah, here we go. Oh, wow, that's very soft. Wow. They say it's a pillow within a pillow, but man, my head sinks right down. We'll have to see for how this feels for side sleeping too. We'll see. I'm pretty curious about this. I definitely feel like I'm kind of sinking into it, which some people might like that. Huh, interesting. But I'll come back tomorrow and let you know how my first night went. So I'll see you then. All right, quick update from that, my first night of sleep on the Casper pillow. Let me get out of this pillowcase here. Ugh. Get out of here, these tags. All right, first observations after one night of sleep, it's very soft. It's one of the softest pillows I ever slept on probably. I was wondering if the softness was gonna be a problem, but on my first night it wasn't. I didn't wake up with any neck problems. I slept pretty well, so it's pretty it's soft than I'm used to, but it seems to be uh, acceptable so far. I'm not sure if I love it. I, I think I like it but I need another week on this to tell for sure. It's very, very soft. You can see it's kind of down-like. We'll see after a week if I, if I like it better than what I use right now. All right, so what do you think about the Casper, Brian? <laughs> <laughs> that was a payback from earlier. I like the Casper, right? So the pillow I usually use before we started this video uh, comparison uh, is very similar to this one. I really like thin pillows. I kind of like down pillows. It's kind of like my thing. Um, I like the low loft features of this pillow. I don't really understand the pillow and pillow uh, claims of their <laughs> of this one, but yeah. I thought overall it's a pretty good pillow. I could see why people wouldn't like this because it's really thin, but I do really like thin pillows. My opinion of this Casper pillow is I like how soft it is. I have to say, I think it's one of the softest, if not the softest pillow we're reviewing right now. I think as far as 
sleeping goes, it was kind of, I appreciate the softness, but it was a little too thin for me where I felt like my head was touching the mattress when I was sleeping on it. Like I would sleep on it, but I felt like it hit directly the mattress. So it's my pretty much my only con. Um, like I said, I do like the softness and the size is actually nice as well. It's not too long, but no hate towards Casper. Um, this is just my review of this particular pillow. They, I should say that when I order, they offer you a mid loft and low loft versions and they, they kind of give you a little questionnaire which one's right for you. I came up with a low loft. I wish I'd done the mid loft because to me it's too soft and I like soft pillows, but I felt like my head went right down to the mattress and then not only that, but it was kind of like, I was like claustrophobic, like it was around my head. Like uh, you sleep on your side and I had like my face like, you know, like this. Oh. I just, I felt that like my, I I, you know, like out. when your face is like there and this is like up against the side, I don't know. It, it was just too soft for me. It's nice, it's it a nice, nice pillow. I think I would have liked the mid loft better, but as is, I don't think I, I like this one as much. So, you know, I can't like them all, I yeah, guess. We, we have a pretty <laughs> wide range of opinions on this one. Yeah, already, no so. kidding. Like yeah. It, so, Duke it out. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, next up is the Sealy. It's the only solid memory foam pillow of the bunch. It has this cool inside to it. It was, a, it, was a, it was an interesting one, but let's check back to my original test and see how that went. All right, I'm done with the Casper. Get this one out of here. I'm moving on to the Sealy. It says soothing gel layer, premium memory foam, breathable, easy care cover. So they got this cool layer here. It feels very cool. And then if you peel this back, uh, just kind of a standard memory foam. Much different than the Casper. This is a very soft down feeling pillow. This is kind of a firmer memory foam with a gel side. Right, here we go. First impression. My head is slowly sinking. Much different than the Casper. The Casper has sunk all the way down almost to the mattress here. There's definitely more support. Let me try this gel side. Oh, wow. That's, that's really cold. <laughs> you put a pillowcase on and see how that feels with a pillowcase on there. Even with a pillowcase, it still feels quite cool. It feels good on first impression, but sometimes your first impression is misleading after a couple nights sleep on there. So we'll find out how it really works after a week. The first night with the Sealy is done. Let me get this pillowcase off here. The memory foam is very soft. It, it kind of feels nice. I did try sleeping part of the night with my head on this side of it. And what I liked about this is it did feel cool for a while and then it warms up to kind of the temperature of your skin. But what I didn't like about it is just the texture of it. It's kind of, this material is kind of really nice and soft feeling. This just feels kind of like plastic. Even though it's cool, there's nothing on top of it other than my pillowcase to really make it feel nice. So I don't know. I'm gonna have to see how this goes throughout the week. I'm a little bit on the fence about this one. So uh, we'll flash to the rest of the review and see how it went. All right, Brandon. <laughs> what do you think of the memory foam Sealy with a gel cooling side? I really liked this. Mm -hmm. I thought when I first used this, I was gonna hate it. I like how versatile it is. So where if you don't wanna have this textured feeling, you can use this side as well, which is just straight up memory foam. Mm -hmm. uh, this is definitely the most unique pillow of the bunch. I really like uh, the size of this pillow. I like how different it is. Uh, it's not really been a pillow I've ever seen that has this kind of thing to it. I think I'm inclined to say this is on the higher end of the pillows in this video. JC? So, yeah. Agreed, yes. I have to say I definitely agree with Brandon. I think it's a very profound and unique pillow. I like exactly what Brandon said too, this cooling gel right here. I've never ever seen this in on a pillow of any kind. So I think that's a really nice um, addition. As far as comfort and support, I find that it really supported my head very well, um, as well as my neck. Um, nothing felt like it was drowning or anything like that, so that was good, yeah. Um, I felt very supported by it, so yeah, this is on the top end of my list. Good, okay, yeah. cool. Yeah. I would say that um, I'm not usually big on solid memory foam pillows, but this one is nice and thin, so I actually kind of like this one. It's probably, I would say, not maybe not my favorite memory foam pillow, but maybe my second favorite memory foam pillow. Solid memory foam. The, the cooling side I'm a little bit torn on because I, it does feel cool for a little while, but then your head kind of warms it up. Do you think being bald has a, a different uh, effect on this? It absolutely could affect that, yes. What I was gonna say, moving on to that, is the one thing I say as a con is that I didn't like the texture of this with my head against it. Because like this is not really pillow soft, this is kind of plasticky. 
this is nice and soft. Although the fact that the, the gel kind of warms up after a while, I don't really use that side. I use this side and I was perfectly fine with it. So I, I, even though I think this wasn't really for me, this was, so I, I was pretty happy with it. Next up is the sleep number. Ugh. This is uh, the most expensive of the bunch. And um, this one also supposedly has a mix of shredded memory foam and down alternative fibers. So that's kind of a hybrid in that respect. Let's first take a look back at how my original test went. All right, sleep number. Interesting feeling pillow. It does not feel like the other ones I've tried so far. It feels memory foam-ish, but it's, uh, it's a little bit different. I guess it's because it is a little bit different. Let's try it out. All right, first impression. Ugh, that's, hey, you know what? That's actually not too bad. Hmm. A lot of the pillows I've tried so far, either it's too firm or it sinks all the way down. And this seems to be kind of in the middle of that. So, you know, maybe this might work. It feels a little bit forgiving on my head. I kind of feel the pillow moving around underneath it. I'm really going to be interested in this one. So uh, I guess I'll check back tomorrow and let you know how it went. All right, here we go. First night with the sleep number pillow. This is one I've had probably the highest hopes for. I had the highest price tag on it. And I'm also probably the most disappointed at this point. I, this first time I've had a headache the next day. Um, what's interesting about this one is that the shredded memory foam uh, on the normal pillows actually does move around when you sleep on it. This one seems like it's kind of stuck in place. It, seems, it doesn't seem like the filling is really moving as much, which is weird because it kind of feels softer to my hands than some of the other ones do. So uh, I don't know. It's, it might take some getting used to. Maybe I'll end up liking it though. But we'll see how the rest of the week goes. Uh, right now, my first night, I'm a little bit disappointed, but we got a long way to go. There you go, Bren. What do you think about the sleep number? I also say that you're, you have a problem with allergies. It supposedly has a hypoallergenic coverage. You notice any decrease in allergies when you're using that? I didn't really think about that. You know, <laughs> I, I wish I paid more attention to it because I have asthma. I don't think I really like this one that much. I do like the hybrid design where it's got the shredded memory foam and it's the down mix. I will say this pillow I use more to prop up against my back when I was at my desk, oh. putting it right behind me like this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It was the perfect height. It wasn't uh, too big for that. It was the perfect size yeah. to put right behind my back. And that part I really did like about it. So yes. I did have some positive use about it. But as far as uh, sleeping with it, I had kinks in my neck three times out of the mm -hmm. seven days I used it. And uh, I just thought it was okay. I have to say, I do really like the hybrid design. I like the mixtures of the two uh, things inside of it, as well as when I slept on it, um, it was very, it provided me, I think with su support, it was a very comfortable sleep when I slept on it. Even though it's a hybrid, could you notice a difference between like this and the regular shared memory foam? Like, does it feel different than, than the others to you? That's a good question. In my opinion, I would say I noticed a difference in that I think it was a little more, um, conformative to my positioning and it felt like smoother and softer like it didn't feel as hard i think in my opinion one of their claims is it conforms to your head and neck so it sounds like yeah, you're, yes you're, oh yeah so, i yeah. felt like it did so i guess it did yes so for me this was the one i was the most interested in because it's a hybrid i never really had a hybrid and, and to your hands it feels really good i was like oh this is gonna be great yeah that's exactly how i felt and then after yeah. my first night i woke up with a headache and i was oh, like no. I don't know. I think that I would probably like it better if it was adjustable. I mean, you could technically cut it open, I guess, but I don't really want to do that. Um, I think it was a little bit firm for me, which is surprising because it feels so soft when you squeeze it. So uh, I don't think it's a bad pillow. It was just it was just too firm and thick for me. I mean, not not the firmest and the thickest I ever felt, but not not something I really enjoyed that much. So I was a little disappointed, especially considering the fact that it was 90 bucks. So I mean, you when you get 90 bucks worth of pillow, you want to have it good on the first night. We'll keep moving. Fair point. Fair point. <laughs> Time for the first of two pedics. So this will be the snuggle pedic. Oh yeah, <laughs> clever. Yeah. The battle of the pedics. This comes at the end here. This is the this is the bigger pedic. Yeah. Well, yeah. Like, like I said earlier, the, this is the only one. The, all the standards were sold out when I had to buy this. I mean, we bought. I bought these like two months ago. So I went with a king size, and this was. Uh, it's so big, I can't even hold it. They do say that this is filled to the firmness that most people like, but if you don't like it, they'll hook you up. Now, obviously, that's not something I could really do in the context of this video, but it's something to know that they'll actually fix it up for you if you don't like it. Do you mean like they'll adjust the pillow or they'll give you a different one? I think they said, contact us if you don't like it and we'll, and we'll make it right for you. So I don't, I don't know, really know what that entails. I didn't really get that far, but it's nice to know. They say it's a proprietary mix of different types of memory foam. 
So, and it has a cool cover, cool spell with a K, that makes it even cooler. So. Very much so. <laughs> Let's take a look back at my original test and then talk about it. All right, here we go, Snugglepedic. See how it feels. Fluff it up a little bit, it feels nice. They say you can manipulate the foam inside so you can have more or less where your head's going. Let's, let's see that, how that works. Oh, well, my first impression is it's very soft. I kind of sink halfway down from what I expected it to be. It, it felt like the center there was kind of a, a gap where there wasn't as much foam. Over on the sides, there's more. So I guess you can move it around. Let me see. Well, it is very soft. Is it too soft? I don't know. I feel like it's more support than the, than the Casper was. Maybe not quite as firm as some of the others. It feels like right now there's kind of a less foam in the center and you can supposedly move that around somehow, I guess, <laughs> to see how that goes. All right, well, all right, well, we'll see how night number one goes with the Snugglepedic. All right, so my first night with the Snugglepedic was pretty interesting. I think overall I, I seem to like it. One thing I noticed was weird is that even though you're supposed to be able to move the foam filling around to suit your needs, it seemed like there were times it kind of moved around without me wanting it to. My head was kind of like in this little cavern at one point, but I don't know. We'll see how it goes after a week. My first impression is to be cautiously optimistic, so we'll see how the next week goes. All right, Brian, what do you think about the Snugglepedic? Oh, thank you for not <laughs> chucking this one at me. <laughs> I like how big this pillow is. Um, I don't know about you two, but this kind of negates needing two pillows on your bed. And this kind of acts as like one giant pillow. I also did not like this pillow. It gave me a kink in my neck, not as frequently <laughs> as the uh, sleep number. Um, Someone's got a sensitive neck around here. <laughs> but, but it only happened once. It only happened once. I, like I said, I do like the size of it. I did use this again for back support. Um, otherwise, I thought it was just a, a pretty standard pillow. I do appreciate the customer service claim that you said. That, yeah. That's always a good thing. Right. So that's something to consider. So my opinion of the Snugglepedic is I liked, I think, the feeling of it, but sleeping on it wasn't as satisfying as I thought it would be. It does feel very nice to your hands. If it yeah. was a hand pillow, it would be a 10. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> seriously. For your hand, it's great. Yes. So I liked that about it. I think my, my major con was just how big it is. There's not really a... Um, a pillow cover for me that could cover it easily. Well, that's not the, that's Why? that's because I had, had to get a king. So yeah, that's, that's, true. Really, that's, that's not true. Really. So your only con is not really their fault. <laughs> yeah. Your only con is my fault. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's what it sounds like to me. It's okay. Yeah, it's an okay pillow. I think it's on my lower half, but it's an okay. So pillow. it's just kind of like a didn't really jump out at you, but it wasn't yes. like bad either. Yeah, I would say so. Okay. Yeah. I have an interesting observation. I don't know if you guys shared this or not, but what I felt was interesting was that I would sleep with my head right in the center of it, and it felt like by the end of the night, all the foam had kind of parted away as like the, like the Red Sea, and I was like kind of like sunk in there. No, I felt <laughs> the same way. Did you? Yeah, it was weird because it seems like, I mean, it feels, it, it feels nice, and I actually enjoyed it, but that sinking sensation was a little bit jarring to me. I'd wake up just kind of like sunken into the pillow more than I, I expected, I guess, so. Much like the Casper, um, I did have that happen, but that didn't affect me as much. Yeah, same here. I think the Casper, I, sun I sunk into and it kind of like went around my face. This one, it didn't. It just seemed like all the foam just kind of moved out of the way. All right, well, I mean, that's a, it's an interesting one. It's a, so let's, let's move on to the, the other Pedic. I know. <laughs> this is the only adjustable pillow of the bunch. You can unzip this and take foam out. And uh, this was the only one I had two of because I got to buy one, get one free offer on this one. What's interesting though is most adjustable pillows I've had send you extra foam. This one didn't. So if it wasn't thick enough for you, you don't have any foam to add to it. I don't think in our cases we ever thought it was too thick so, or not thick enough. So that wasn't really a problem. So let's flash back to my original test and then get started. This feels like a shredded memory foam for sure. Yeah, okay. Let's see what we got. Ugh. It feels kind of like a standard shredded memory foam pillow. I'm trying to think if there's anything unusual feeling about it or anything special about it. I'm, I'm not really seeing it. It's nice. I'm not sure if it really stands out uh, on first use. It's kind of a lot of pillows I've tried and this kind of just feels like middle of the road. But we'll see how it feels after a night's sleep on it. Maybe I'll have a different opinion tomorrow. So let's check back tomorrow, see how it goes. All right, Tempur-Pedic, after the first night, 
And it wasn't a bad night's sleep actually. I slept pretty well on it. One thing I noticed about this is it has just enough memory foam to my liking where it kind of conforms to your head but it doesn't move completely out of the way so you're sinking in there. I was thinking about taking some of the filling out because it's adjustable but I'm not sure I'm going to really need to. Uh, it seems to be about the right thickness for me out of the box. So we'll see how it goes but after the first night I'm actually kind of optimistic. This could be a, this could be a contender. All right, Bran, what did you think about the Tempur-Pedic pillow? So the Tempur-Pedic I thought was the, the perfect median uh, for, for softness that some of the other pillows had and firmness that some of the other pillows had. Um, that largely is because it's an adjustable pillow so you can adjust it to how you like. I think this was um, a, a like, pretty standard pillow outside of that. There was nothing that it set apart from any of the other pillows. It was just a good solid median. What do you think, Miss Klein? You're not related to Ethan Klein, are you? No, okay. I'm not, but I do frequent his podcast. <laughs> Calvin Klein. Oh, I'm not either, but that's, that'd be super cool. So my opinion of the Tempur-Pedic is I liked it. I think I liked it a lot. I did like the option that you can remove some of the filling if you wanted to. I found that I didn't necessarily have to remove any filling. Um, it was very nice. It's still, it is also very nice to the touch in my opinion. Um, and upon sleeping on it, it also conformed to my head well enough to where it didn't really give me like any uh, support issues or anything like that. So. I think I, I really like this one. The fact that it's adjustable makes it a, a positive to me, but I never ended up finding I needed to adjust it. I kind of liked it right out of the box, which is rare, you know, like I, I didn't really feel like I needed to take anything out of there. You would think it just, everything about this screams that it's just kind of a standard shredded, shredded memory foam pillow, but it does it very well. So it's like, even yeah. though it, it's not, there's nothing unusual about it to me. There's nothing that stands out, but it just works really well, which is what you want. So, I mean, I, I it's kind of like the, the, the dark horse of the group. It, there's nothing special about it, but it was actually really good. So. so that leads us to the final section, which is our rankings of these. Yeah. <laughs> so we're gonna, what we're gonna do is we're gonna give, uh, we're gonna start from number five and work our way up. So Brandon, what is your number five, your bottom pillow of the bunch? My overwhelming <laughs> bottom number pillow is the sleep number pillow. Really? It oh, is I'm the sleep number. It is horribly expensive. <laughs> Yeah. It gave me the worst <laughs> night's sleep I've had in a long time. It just completely disappointed me. So how do you really feel about it, Brand? <laughs> JC, what's your number five pick? Respectable. I will say my number five pick is the Casper pillow. Only because I didn't really necessarily like my head hitting the mattress like each time I tried to sleep. Much respect to Casper, but in terms of this particular pillow, not necessarily for me. Yeah. I, my number five, I agree. I, I actually think Casper is number five for me. I, I've slept with down pillows and I like down pillows, but this was just, it was just, it was down the list. It's just, it's not a very good down pillow to me. It's maybe it's because it, I got the low loft and I should have got the mid, even though their questionnaire said low. I it just, I, I, I felt like I didn't even need a pillow because I was already on the mattress. So it's like, <laughs> why am I paying for this? I can just put Much my head on the mattress it, and call though. it good. <laughs> All respect though. All respect. We love you, Casper. We're not trying to hate on you or anything. <laughs> what is your number four pick, Mr. Brandon? My number four pick, not much further away from the sleep number, is the Snugglepedic. It wasn't nearly as expensive as the sleep number. And it did basically everything that I said for sleep number. That's all I really have to say about it. It's like, it's just, it's less expensive. Okay. So that's why. Ms. Ms. Klein. Yes. So my number four choice was, same with Brandon, the Snugglepedic. I have to say, it wasn't too phenomenal to me. Nothing really stood out. And the length, though it's not the pillow's fault, um, right. just wasn't of interest to me. Yeah. Shockingly, my number four is also Snugglepedic. <laughs> uh, I, I didn't think that was going to happen at all in this video. It's <laughs> really cool. I just didn't like how much I sank. I mean, like, I sank a lot on the Casper. I sank almost the same amount on the Snugglepedic. I don't think the length would have made a difference in that. I just think that the design of it, it's just, I, I don't think there's enough filling. I think I just ended up sinking down almost to the mattress. So, number four, Snugglepedic. Number three, Mr. Brandon. My third choice is a solid number three. Okay. It is the Casper pillow. Okay. I think Casper is number three for me. That is the type of pillow I love using. I love having pillows that are paper thin. <laughs> I don't mind sinking right to the mattress. Yeah. I actually sleep better with that as opposed to pillows that are much bigger. That's a pretty ringing endorsement for number three, I would say. Yeah. <laughs> Number three, JC. <laughs> My third choice is the sleep number. I didn't really like how it, um, you couldn't really adjust it. You couldn't really take anything out like you could the Tempur-Pedic. Um, it was soft. I enjoyed the, the comfort 
um, aspect of it. But yeah, that's what I would say. Well, once again, we agree on this one. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> what? That's I great. had to say number also number three. What? I mean, to me, I think that I, I can see people liking this one because it feels soft. It's just a little too firm for me and too expensive. I just, I just feel like it, it's not as good as some of the other ones and the price definitely knocks it down a little bit too. So we're going to do number two and number one together since when you say number two, we're going to do number one. So what is your number two and number one, Bren? So my number two is Tempur-Pedic. Nice. Tempur-Pedic is number two. And that makes number one, the Sealy. These are very, like, these are almost like 1A and 1B. Really? I can alternate very much similar to the first video we did mm -hmm. with the, the coupe and the purple harmony pillow. Right. I would have either of those in number one and be completely fine. That's exactly how I feel with these pillows. So it's not like your number three and your number four and five are way at the bottom. Number three is right in the center and number one and two are way at the top. There you go. True <laughs> one through five. True one through five. All right, how about you, JC? Number two and number one. My last two are the complete same as Brandon. Yeah. Tempur-Pedic second and Sealy first. Okay. Tempur-Pedic second because I loved that you could adjust it and it was very comfortable. It conformed well to my body. Everything was structured well. Um, Sealy number one because I just find it a overall phenomenal pillow. I've never seen a pillow like it really and I like the whole cool gel part to it. It was really really um, nice. I have the same two as you guys but they're in a different order. Oh. So I got the Tempur-Pedic number one and the Sealy number two. I mean I, really like you said it's like I'm happy with both of them. Mm -hmm. Um, I think that the, the Tempur-Pedic I liked right out of the box, even though it's adjustable, which would have made it even better. But um, I think the fact that I didn't really appreciate the cooling side as much as you did for the Sealy, it maybe bumped it down to number two for me, but really both great pillows. And the Sealy was the cheapest too. So we're gonna do some quick math and we're gonna do a quick consensus and then wrap this thing up. All right, in my hand is the final consensus of all of our rankings here. Yes. All right, so number five uh, with a score of 13, a high score is bad, low score is good because we just added up our numbers. So a, number th a score of 13 was the Casper at number five. Oh. I don't think anybody is really disappointed about that, right? <laughs> Brian uh, likes the Casper. Yeah. I'm a little hurt, but I think generally, I think people watching would probably agree. And all love is not lost. Some people do like the Casper, okay. So. I still like Casper. Number four, which is not surprising since we all ranked at number four, is the Snugglepedic <laughs> with a score of 12. And with a score of 11, number three is the sleep number. So the top two, number two is a Tempur-Pedic and number one is a Sealy. Oh. The Tempur-Pedic had a score of five and the Sealy had a score of four. So there you go. I think that our top two choices were the same for all of us. So I think you can't go wrong with either one of those. No, so. those if you got to get one of those pillows, get one of those. You will, right. you will absolutely like them. Yes. Indeed. All right, well, that was kind of fun. Uh, I will link Bren and JC's social media profiles below if you want to follow them. I appreciate everybody watching, and we'll see you next time. Thanks, everybody. Bye, guys.